Our next speaker is Dr. Hitesh Rawal, who is owner of Sai Mangalam Clinic. He has special interest in color Doppler and musculoskeletal sonography. Apart from that, he is a golf player, great musician, and a piano player, and has given many live performances. So, I would like to invite Dr. Hitesh Rawal on the dais. Good morning, everyone. Now, today's our topic is why sonographer fails to evaluate varicose veins. So. common mistakes and false reports everyone makes mistakes but it's important to think not to make the same mistake twice so obvious varicose vein in the patients but reports are normal sometimes there is a false pattern and improper technique here is a case one the report is given left side of the femoral junction shows competence and left and right is incompetence so here we have examine the patient clinically in standing position you can see the clear varicose vein in the right side below knee region and also there is a varicose vein present in the thigh of left leg and as well as the below knee region on color doppler if we put as if in a femoral junction we see we can see the reflux on the right side which was written in the report if we scan on the left side Uh, there is also reflux, which is present on the left side of the femoral junction, which is also incompetent. So, what is the problem? Why it's missed? Because it was not done in the standing position. The position is important. Okay, you can see there is no obvious veins, dilated veins seen on lying down position. So, in the second picture, in same patient. If we examine a standing position, there is varicosities in thigh and leg region. Now we are going to discuss second case. Patient is presented with the infective ulcers. You can see the discoloration of the skin, and patient has severe pain on the leg. Now Doppler report, seven uh, femoral junction was competent, but there is no mention about perforators. So here. If we scan the Doppler for seven femoral junction, it is competent and showing the normal flow. Okay, but if we trace great saphenous vein downward, so there is a large thigh perforator. You can see in the second image we have stored. So perforator is also important. Not only seven femoral junction is competent or not. but also see for the perforators like thigh perforators and anterolateral tributary refluxes this is the second common mistakes done by the sonologists in third case you can see the varicose veins but report is normal why sometimes junction are normal absolutely normal but there is reflux from tributaries so there are type 2 shunt there are two types one is open deviated shunt and second is a close in open deviated shunt you can see the n1 is the deep vein and 2 is the superficial great saphenous vein and third one is we have seen the incompetent tributaries which arise from the superficial vein and drain into the deep vein but in the closed shunt is a closed shunt there is a tributary is arising from the superficial vein and draining into the superficial only so we have Done the Doppler at seven of femoral junction. This was normal flow. Seven of femoral junction is competent, is normal. If we trace great saphenous vein in the thigh region, we are tracing downward, downwards. In second image, you can see the dilated superficial vein, which is arising from the superficial great saphenous vein, and it is also draining into the superficial vein. so it is called as a reflux is not only from the deep vein only but it is also come from the superficial vein and it calls a type 2 shunt so it is important to scan it. so we read costly from learn from our mistake so use proper techniques and if varicose vein symptoms are present then try to find out the source of the reflux um, some people makes mistake learn from the mistakes but real servant learn from the other mistakes Thanks. Thanks, Mohan sir, and thanks, Health Fund, for the team. So, thank you. Now I would like to call Dr. Abhilasha and Nisha Vyas to felicitate Dr. Hitesh Rawal.